Some people measure their careers by the growth they inspire. Others for possibilities. There's land, so why not use it, right? Mike Fedison can do both, usually while working a crowd. Yeah, I'm surprised usually there's someone yelling Farmer Mike at any given time during recess. And ready to put the Bradley International Elementary Schoolers to work, learning from the ground up. Sometimes um, teachers want their kids to burn off a little bit of energy, so we have a, a giant pile of wood chips and uh, kind of a fleet of wheelbarrows, and actually the, quite a number of the kids have helped to mulch all of our walkways here. The thousands of growing squash, melons, and radishes he hopes feeds a different crop. Probably all of these we'll pick next week, and then it'll be, at the end of the week, we'll be on the lunch line. They have watermelon, grapes, um, sometimes they have blueberries, they have uh, cantaloupe. They have a lot of things. Farmer Mike's produce is producing an adventurous eater. Yeah, definitely. A fifth grader Van Harbuck. Um, I tried tomatoes. Uh, I tried lettuce. I've had bell peppers. Yeah. They literally say, ah, oh, we're going to have the melon today. It, look, this came from outside. And so they get really excited about it. Kevin McMinn with the district says they don't just encourage trying new foods. They require kids take a fresh fruit and vegetable with every school meal. Oh, it's so important because they might not get that nutrition at home. That's why we concentrated that here. At home, you might your dinner might consist of a piece of pizza and a Pepsi. Here, if you get a piece of pizza, you're getting fresh fruit and vegetable on your tray and making sure you have it. That way they get that nutritional value every day. A school rule that gets kids even more excited for the lunch bell. Oh yeah, every single day. Yep, absolutely. I mean, that's probably, I think, one of the reasons why, um, why I do this, actually, yeah. Matt has Farmer Mike hopeful that every harvest he's here for is more bountiful than the next. In Denver, Rachel Krause. Nine News.